Hi, I'm Jatinder Singh. I'm Global Head of Data and Analytics for Accenture Song. I think the first is interest, right? And I think we're past the interest right now. What is it? What does it mean? You know, I think people have got educated pretty quickly. The second is then how do I start to use it? Key to that question is, is ensuring that we address bias, that we ensure that the algorithms are built in an equitable manner. Thirdly, are what are the specific use cases? People immediately go to, I want it to be used for performance, right? Or I want it to be used for cost containment. And there are some amazing use cases for that. But then there's also use cases for service. How can I ensure that it's going to have a better experience for my consumer? How do we actually use it to fuel creativity and build equity with a brand by understanding emotions? We just announced a $3 billion investment. This really builds upon our history within the artificial intelligence arena. So we have a long history in this space that started more than 10 years ago, starting off with artificial intelligence and machine learning, which was really the first chapter of this book. We've been asked by a client, what does an AI native company of the future look like and how do I become that? We're talking about using AI for what we're calling total enterprise reinvention. So it does in fact touch on all aspects of the business. So first of all is on the customer agenda, right? So how do we use generative AI to actually inform everything that we know about the customer, but then also linking it to the wider enterprise as well. So how is it informing supply chain, logistics, fraud, and then ultimately into employees as well. So it's the interconnected ecosystem between customers, the enterprise and the employees. So it's definitely impacting an entire organization for sure. There's a lot of noise out there about it's going to take away people's jobs. We talk about co-piloting and how it's actually going to be um, helping them in, in, their, in their careers as well. So one of the things as part of our $3 billion investment, for example, is that we're actually going to double our talent focused on AI from 40,000 to 80,000. And that's going to be done through a number of ways. One is through reskilling and upskilling. Secondly, is through acquisitions. And thirdly, is by partnering with our ecosystem partners. I see AI and now generative AI, which is the next evolution of artificial intelligence, being a co-pilot, being an ingredient into creativity. I've been on the jury for Creative Data Alliance and seen some fantastic and amazing work. Artificial intelligence, machine learning and, and deep learning has featured in many, many of the entries. It's been a handful where generative AI has been a feature. It's the enabler for creativity. I call it widening the aperture. So responsible AI is something that we've been taking also very seriously at Accenture for a number of years. We have a responsible AI unit as part of the $3 billion investment that we're going to be putting significant investment against that unit as well to address the issue of bias, to ensure that the algorithms, the data sets are equitable, because again, it's training off of that data. So we need to ensure that it's reflective of society for sure.